Wake me up. Wait, is that? Is that the words for that song? Does it matter? Hey there, ones. Oh, it's just marshmallows. They're massive. I do not. No, they're. I don't know. Hey there, ones. I'm running out of wild. Um, I've been giving it some thoughts. I've been thinking about the fact that once upon a time, I've been following a breadcrumb trail, right? And it led me to what was explained to me to be something called coordinates. Coordinates for uh, the home for the downtrodden. No. <laughs> what? Coordinates for um, the, the eye. Eye of the universe. And I've been thinking, so like, what does it mean that there is a meta quest line for coordinates. It means that somewhere, somehow, I need to find the a way to use these coordinates to go to the eye, right? Like, if you're giving me coordinates because I'm gonna find the means to actually use them, this would imply Finding some kind of know my computer. And although we've been visiting their settlements, buildings, and whatnot, and a lot of their structures have st stood the test of time, we haven't really seen anything like a computer at all beyond maybe their talking stick. Like, I don't know if that would be a computer or just technology so advanced it is undistinguishable from magic. But, um,. That's not exactly true, though, because there are three in <laughs> There are three Nomai vessels that have crashed into the system. You made a herd of them. Where's the... Oh, there it... No. See, that's the beacon. Oh, there's... Yeah, there's three Nomai vessels who look very much like futuristic machines. And even then, when we go inside this little guy right at the entrance on the other side, um, there are logs and stuff implying that there is indeed a computer or something similar powering this. Great. Fantastic. However, this place is totaled. And the ship at Brittle Hollow is totaled, unfortunately. But, 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 something very important. Once upon a time, I've learned there was a third ship that landed in this system and got tangled up somewhere in uh, Bramble Scramble. You know, at the time, I didn't really consider what it meant that there was a ship that got ensnared and trapped there. But I think I understand the significance. Because there's a real possibility that that ship did not crash and thus get irreparably damaged. But rather got all tangled up. And um, I don't know where I'm going. I think I got turned around. I don't like this place, but I gotta go through it, so... Oh no, is this where you need to go through the... Now there's gonna be a sandfall that I walk through. Okay, I got a little bit mixed up. Uh, let's double check. Far side for the final fallen sand, then we're gonna be good. Alright, okay. Yeah, so I think that the coordinates I need to feed to a know my computer, and I think we're gonna have a working know my computer in the third know my ship. Now, of course, like, that's all nice and good, but like, what does that mean, right? So, I know that in Brambles, I never went up these stairs, maybe I should try that. I know that in Brambles, there is a, uh, there's the red light, right, that I've been to once? Yeah, I've never been here, I don't think. Oh, there's a little view window. So 
inside a cave. How did it come to rest here? I encountered others in this cave. I think it's a rare find. Oh, tiny little writing. So it's even old by their standards, and the bones are still chilling. Wow. I wonder, I wonder if the fact that this planet is like split in half almost is due to like a failed seed attempt. Yeah, yeah, I haven't thought about it, but... So if you're okay, there were children playing on the specimen. Uh... Okay. Oh yeah, there's there's writing there. Wait a second. Can I get it like right into its mouth? I just did. <laughs> or I didn't. That was just it spinning around wildly. Is that no, it is, is it now? No, I think I'm just- I'm just inside the mouth. Well, I don't know. There's a gullet there, like, underneath. This might be something. I don't know if it matters. There's writing there! Is this that- I- Well, no, no, wait, wait, wait! There's a door that's been buried in sand in town. I need to hurry up. Uh, anyway, so yeah, I think my next major project is, uh... Getting to the vessel. In Giant's Deep, there's that red light thing, but I don't know what to do with that. Like, I remember when I was trying to... So this is the High Energy Lab. It's way down there. Let's go there. And, uh, yeah. I, so the first time I went to Giant's Deep, I tried to follow... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Don't die, don't die, don't die. Alright, sweet. I didn't die. Like, I tried to follow the red light, but then I think I just ended up in, like, a norm- like, in just another layer, right? And I didn't really know what to do about that. Did I- did I already miss my turn? I mean, I might be able to go in here. Is this where I want to go? Is this the high energy line? I feel like I missed my chance. I think I did. I wasted too much time somewhere. Well, looking at the fish, I had to do a detour. Well, that doesn't go anywhere else. The sand is pouring through the land somehow. Ah, man. Because, yeah, I thought there was a doorway at the bottom, and I think I messed it up. I got distracted. Uh, learning about fishes, finding a way to get to that plant monster fish. And then people are going like, whoa, ooh, what's this though? What's this door? Stepping stone cave. Who wants to step on stones? Why not at this point? Like, any entrance is something new, so let's give it a shot. Alright, these are stairs, kinda. Are they carved in stairs? Yeah, they are. It's old. Alright, the music, there's no music here. Uh, so these are the stones that you can step upon if you feel like it. Ah. I forgot my buttons for a hot second. Alright, I mean, it says ship there. I don't know what that means. No, wait, this is filling with sand still. Yeah. Like, yeah, you can jump around on these. I just don't know if you really gained anything from doing that. Did I go in a circle? I think. Looking at my map, it's hard to tell, honestly. I don't remember this big turn, though. Right, something there. No, I think I might have... No, this is new. Well, it's different. Alright. Where am I now? Big ol' hole! There's like an arrow, by accident. I saw the... Ooh, children's writing. Fossil fish game! Ah, oh, Solanum! Then the fossil fish a new lantern. If you go to Stepping Stone Cave, the entrance to the fossil fish cave is easy to see now.
Well, for one thing, this is adorable. For another thing, their childlike graffiti is just kind of revealed a trick here then, huh? So there's like another thing. That's fine. Uh, probably sneak in to get to this writing. More childish writing. If you're too big to climb through the anglerfish over the hole. Whoops. You'll have to go the long way, but it isn't far. Go to Stepping Stone Cave, then up into the Fossil Fish Cave. Huh. Yeah, because I look with a camera. I thought it looked like a pass, but I, I guess it is. I, I guess Tajet ta just can't play anymore. He's too old. Uh, getting some children drama here. Okay. Uh, I wonder if it's too late at this point. If there's too much sand to be able to do much of anything there. This place is just like one big... <laughs> is that one of the kids? Well, we saw Solanum as an adult, so... It might not be too late, honestly. Where does this lead? Can I go back? Oh, it might start to be getting too late, though. It might start to be too late. Maybe I can spot the hole and cheat? I doubt it. So, feed the fish, then... You go somewhere here. And then you die forever. That's the plan. That's not really anyone's plan. Um... Do I just meditate? Like, I just don't know what else there is to glean here. But I'm curious about it. I don't know, is the sand still rising? Yeah, see, there's the thing. The more I get lost and the more I wait, I'm just gonna die from oxygen deprivation anyways. This is kind of a maze. Not gonna lie. It's that kind of look like a hole, but it's just textures. Uh, Alright. I'm starting over. Whoops. Let's go fishing. I wonder if it'd be easier to fish the fish. To feed the fish from here. Because here you see, like, right at its mouth, right? That's no bueno, but... Do you think that's good enough? Light effect, by the way, are amazing. Well, let's find out. Wow, I got here really early. I'm pretty happy for that. Cactus, cactus, cactus. Wow, oh, yeah, I got here super early. Okay, so it's very easy to get here, it turns out. Once we've done it, like, twice. So I'm still gonna go and, uh... Turn on all the lights here. bottom. I think it's the bottomest part, actually, so... Ooh, no, this is probably the high energy zone. So I can absolutely make it here, no problem. Well, I mean, I'll, I'll visit that, it's just now I'm doing fish, but confirm, can do that. It's very easy. Awesome. But yeah, the trick is that you can't just like be wasting your time. All right, are you? Yeah, sipping some cave, perfect. Okay, so yeah, sand got up pretty high by the time I got here, it turns out, and that's why I was all lost. I should maybe reoxygenate. 
So let's do that. Hey. All right. Yeah, this place is giganto. All right, so. Well, apparently, the lamp should be, uh, I fed the lamp, the fish a lamp. Yeah, I'm seeing light there. Oh, now it is, like, proper. But these might just be those torches. I don't know. No, my scout is up there. My scout is totally up there. That is so rad. Uh, is there ledges here? Oh, I don't know. I don't want to die. Where am I? Okay. Um, do I wait for the sand to catch up? Like, is that really the only real thing I can do here? I don't know, like, I'm not seeing, like, a thing I can, like, stick myself to. There might be. Uh, it's, like, oh boy. Doing it a bit blind here. Uh, I don't want to die if I can help it. Like, you need to, like, go into the bone! Okay! Okay. Alright. <laughs> I made it here, into the scary cave. I, I don't like bones, man. Give me light. Oh, these skeletons look tiny? This is kind of messed up. There's a laser up there, which I did not expect to see. Whoops. <laughs> For scientific accurate. You know the kids are nerds, which honestly, fair. <laughs> huh. Here we got little, like, toy blocks, too, which kind of makes this all sorts of grim. Yeah, there's totally a hole up there. So, assuming that... The population of nerds have a whole bunch of nerdy children, which, fair enough, s striking for accuracy... I do wonder if this is saying something about the anglerfish. Anglerfish study. Yeah, see, here we get the older writing. Uh-huh. It's making, uh-huh, sketches of the anglerfish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but I mean, fair enough, though. Like, that is absolutely true. Oh, that's just sad. So, confirming from an adult here, from Coleus even, they added a rule to their game that incorporates our research. It's wonderful. So, anglerfish are blind. They cannot see. They cannot see. So... And remember how in, um, the observatory, they were like, Hey, we found research about the jelly, the anglerfish, how to deal with them, possibly. Whatever. In talk with the other vessel that's there, I think. So they're blind. So they're blind. So the fact that I was hiding, well, do you think this is open from this side? Maybe, because this could be a pretty good shortcut. Where am I on a map? Oh, well, it would be another way to get the anglerfish, at the very least. But I just don't know if I have to get there anymore. Right off the cannon, there's a table, sorta, then there's an archway. 
Or on the other... Sh shut up. Or also from there. There's this here. And you can go uh, angling. Uh, so the anglerfish are blind. Even though they have a big spot of light, they are blind. What does this mean? They're blind. They don't see you. I've been dealing with that area by basically staying hidden. But turns out... That might have been meaningless? That might have been meaningless. I don't know what to do now, so... Um... I mean, my next step is the high energy lab, but I that's probably too late by now. Maybe there's stuff I can do on the sand twin once, uh... You know what? No, wait a sec. Maybe it's not too late. There's another door by the cannon here. Like, when you go into cannon, there's a door that is labeled as uh, Sunless City. Let me find it and see if it's not too late to explore that. Here we go. Okay, no, 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 no. There's still plenty of space, potentially. I don't actually know if plenty is accurate. But that's what it feels like. All right. Uh, so I'm on, like, the launch disc. There we go. Yeah, the music here is always, like, super sad. Right here. Right here. You. Is the Sunless City where I was, or is there two entire city? Oh. You can't use the main entrance. Also, it's full of ghost matter. Yeah. Ah, I mean, I'm not getting in ghost sand. But there's a brrrl cactus patch. So you have to take the long way. Fair enough. I'm gonna aim for that window up there. Nailed it! It's the window. It's, it's the building. It's full of bad stuff, including cacti, unfortunately. Alright, well... At least I know now that this is kind of a dead end. Uh, now what? Well, like I said, there might still be, um... Sand twin things to do. Once it gets a bit lower in sand. We're kind of getting there. Perfect liftoff. So that's the sun. It's shaped like the sun. Yeah, this is the Timberheart one, right? Like, it's a big, huge building. This is the twin, because it's two towers. But then what is you? No, you're the sun. You are shaped like the sun. You are shaped like the sun. What about this giant one? You are shaped like a tornado. So you would go to Giant's Deep. It's like an icicle, so it could be Brittle Hollow. Yeah, okay, okay. So, I was wondering why the buildings aren't, weren't labeled. It turns out it's because they are the labels, John. Which, fair enough, I guess. Ooh, they're free-floating, apparently. That's wild. Not like floating, floating, but you know, like they're not grounded on anything. Look at that. The underside of a no my building. I don't know what's up with all these prongs, but. Alright. There's, like, two of you. One on the North Pole. One on the South Pole. I went into one of you. And all I got was an express elevator to the top. But if I'm not in a hyper-emergency mode, I wonder if there's anything to glean. Alright, here's a door. 
I mean, this might have been a big old waste of time, but I need to find out, right? I can see that the beams are going upward. I still want to investigate fully as much as I can. Like, is it just it? Is it you go in there and that's it? You get propelled up and what you're gonna do about it? That's what it's looking like. Okay, I have time to go to the North Pole and fight the storm. Check on the equivalent because this place is tiny. Ow, ow, ow. No, yeah, it's just extremely barren and there's nothing else. Ah, that looked like kind of a passage in there. It was probably for the... Okay, yeah, it's... And that was just this. What is the purpose of these things? Alright, I'm gonna zoom right back to the South Pole one. Now it's probably gonna be completely cleared of sand. Yeah. Like, there's... They are clearly, like... Right on the the core here, like this part I'm walking on looks artificial, but this is it. This is all there is. What are these things? What is thou purpose? That just leads to one of the satellite branches. I don't know. I think I'm just lacking the info I need to understand these. I don't know, are there like several layers? It doesn't matter if all they do is that. So... Ooh... Like, I think this just might be... I, I don't know. These just kind of hooked in here. And they go right on down. It might just be a power plant. Like, you know, capture some kind of waves and lightnings right right into the core. This might just be a maintenance shaft that I'm seeing too much into it. Uh, until further information, I think that's all I can claim. Uh, I can walk across this... this uh, sealed area, but it's supposed to be impermeable. And uh, if they say so, I'm gonna believe them. Man, what a weird day today has been. I mean, I've learned that I've been doing something wrong about the fish all this time. But just kind of out cowed my way with it, so that's cool. Wait, did I see... No, I was like, is that... Is that, uh, smoke? But it's smoke from... From the Ember Twin. Alright, what a weird day.